think sometimes uh, we should go on uh, when during the commercial break, just so you can get the conversations taking place uh, during the break. But uh, hey, we got a crew with us here uh, this morning: Brendan Riley, Sarah Muir, Joe Thompson, joining us. Hi, guys. How are you? Good, Good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. Uh, boy, I don't know how to introduce you because you guys are doing so much. There's so much going on. Who wants to start? Where do you want to start? Let's just dive right in into the deep end, Luke. Let's do it, Joe. <laughs> we are creating a manifesto. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I was I'm not gonna, aware of that. i got to make a call. Yeah, Sarah's just like, what am I? <laughs> well, <laughs> they put me in the middle. <laughs> the last time I, oh, we, Brendan and I were on, we were promoting, uh, I believe it was Breakfast with Santa, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yeah. So that was, we, that, that took place down at the uh, mill venue uh, mm-hmm. uh, on, on Monroe Street, South Monroe Street. And the uh, the response was so uh, positive uh, that the the owner of the venue, um, who's a good a good friend of ours, is you know she's been a, a frequent a frequent guest of our coffee shop. She was a frequent guest of the coffee shop and was on East Point, wasn't she? Sure. And uh, uh, she approached Sarah because. Sarah's a nice person and easier to approach than us. Uh, no, I'm kidding. She, uh, she approached there, Sarah right? and she said, "What would you think? What would you think about bringing your coffee shop from Pleasantville down to uh, down to the mill venue?" And uh, we it, we didn't hesitate to say absolutely. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So that's what we're going to be doing. That's what we're that's what we're here to promote right now. Very nice. Okay. So uh, Sarah, talk about uh, the coffee shop. When did it start? Tell sure. us the name. Kind the of name. The history. Um, so the well has been around since 2017. I opened it first on East Point in August of 17. We stayed there about 15 months. Um, cut, cut, give us the history, though. How did it come about? Sure. You want the whole you want the whole yeah, darn give it story? To us, yeah. Um, Because I don't know if you know this, but the well started with a stripper in Cleveland, Ohio. (laughs) Okay, well, maybe we fast forward. (laughs) (laughs) Cuyahoga Falls. Slowly, I Actually, Columbus. I'm wrong. Columbus. So... um, it was early 2017, and Brendan, cousin- Brendan, do you need to go when they come back? <laughs> okay. I, I might can not have told them this. I don't deny know. these allegations. <laughs> it was early 2017, and our country was in turmoil. And my husband, who's a tattoo artist, um, took me away for the weekend to Columbus, Ohio, and we were at the Hell City Tattoo Convention. Um, and I, I'm very comfortable around a lot of different people, but the Hell City mm-hmm. Tattoo Convention is. It's like hell. A line too far? Um, Yeah, it was a little bit too far. It was uh, scary for me. There was people with, like, actual devil horns implanted in their heads. And um, it was uh, was the whole deal. Um, So I really wanted to leave and come home. um, And he told me no. So I stayed, and I kind of wandered around and talked to the vendors who were selling things while he was looking at tattoo art. And I found myself at a booth with um, a lovely lady who was selling little tiny coffee charms. Um, she was from England, and she made these little coffee charms out of clay and sold them as, you know, necklace pendants. And so we talked about our family and our kids and our that cr- seems, crafting. That, that seems so wholesome and a, it, and a it really so was debaucherous. It was so wholesome <laughs> until she put on her costume and got up on stage later that night. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> so that. So, and she, it turns out she's like this you know, international burlesque dancer um, who transforms from making jewelry to, like, performing on stage. So in the end, I thought that was really cool that, you know, me from Pleasantville had this really awesome conversation with this international burlesque dancer. (laughs) And... (laughs) I'm waiting to the point where you guys go and get coffee together or something, and it's like... Oh. No, that didn't happen. But okay. um, on the way home, I said to Brent, you know, with how the world is today, like, this is what needs to happen. People need to have conversations with each other. Mm. People need to talk to each other, overcome their differences. And how can we do that? And as I'm saying, I'm holding this little coffee cup uh, that she gave me. And I'm thinking, oh, we could have a coffee shop in Titusville. Um, there it is. And there it is. Very cool. Okay, so th- then you opened it. I opened it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've been trying to get her to visit um, and come make a guest appearance, but it hasn't happened. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. Well, so, uh, fast forward, you guys are now in Pleasantville. We're now in Pleasantville. Um, during COVID and a lot of different transitions. Um, Joe, Joe, was that an easy, and Brendan, chime in, was that an easy thing to add to uh, the, the grocery store? Uh, yeah, the co- absolutely. It was. Yes. It, it no, really it was. was. It was. Sarah, Sarah needed, she, she came to us and said, can I store my coffee shop equipment? you know, in your store somewhere. And we were like, 
no, why don't you just open the coffee shop? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There, that's really cool. That. Yeah, there was space available, and, and we were trying to find, uh, you know, find a way at the time. To use some of the space. To use the space and also get into prepared food. And yeah. I got to ask, has, this, has there been a master plan, or has it been, as things go along, you guys are going, aha, and saying <laughs> both, both, both. I mean, yeah. you know, there, there, we've 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 had ideas, and then and then uh, other things, you know, present themselves that you know say, uh, this, you know, this is the rabbit hole you need to be, you know, yeah. you know, going down. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, yeah, we we've had plans uh, that have gotten diverted by, like for example, the magic bus was, you know, it 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 was like. It made us an offer we couldn't refuse. Basically, it was like, wait a second, you know, especially in this day and age with COVID, you know, it was it's like, okay, you know, same thing with the grocery store, same, right. you know. So it's just, just keeping our our minds and our eyes and our ears open and being open to, you know, this is exactly what I had in mind, but you know, let's see where this goes. Be creative. Well, I think one of the fun things from the outside is seeing the success and seeing you guys just have these moments right where it's like this is really this is really cool and, and it's a it's a it's been a wild ride watching you guys grow like no it, it, seriously though it, it's been fantastic so uh brendan um you guys you, you guys bring the coffee shop up you have an event down at the at the mill mm -hmm. uh and there's some other possibilities that are going i mean you guys have the bus right now at, at ironworks yep yeah, yeah, we got about four different things brewing right now with what we're what we're currently working on. Um, well, actually, Sarah has things I brewing. Brewing, yeah. Sarah you guys actually has the stuff brewing. Cooking. Pun intended. But yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, that this is the current. Uh, this is where we're headed currently. Actually, this Monday uh, it's going to be the first day down at the mill. Wow. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, we have the bus. Uh, the bus is sitting idle right now because it's 19 degrees out some days, and you know, it's not really feasible. But. Uh, uh, we have some plans for this year, uh, really exciting plans that we're going to release here, not today, but we'll release in the future about the Ironworks. So 2022 is uh, going to be a pretty big year. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. We're, well, well, here's the hoping. Yeah. You know, we've got we've got a lot of, of great plans, uh, irons in the fire, as, as uh, he yeah. said. Uh, has Ironworks been a surprise to you guys? I, <laughs> I talked to Bob Joyce the other day, and it's been... Yeah like an amazing facility and you guys have just kind of fit in there perfectly i i think it's exceeded probably everybody that's involved with his expectations really i mean uh it was an idea that bob had originally you know for what he wanted to do and it's just you know the reception with people not even just titusville it's, the people are coming from a long way yeah uh, but a lot of that has to do too with the entertainment and oh. the food mm -hmm. it's the and whole concept it's a whole concept yeah. uh Joe, on the, on the food side, you guys aren't just, you know, ordering things from a box and, and prepping it. I mean, it's there's a lot of work that goes into this. I mean, it's, oh, it yeah, is absolutely. a very good food truck. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, I mean, it's, you know, uh, I my mom and dad are, are Texans, born and raised. And so I learned at a young age that barbecue was sacrosanct. You know, it was a pinnacle that uh, is to be cherished and loved, but it's everybody's food. Uh, you know, it's not like French cuisine or, you know, it's not haughty. It's, it's, but it, but it requires a lot of dedication and requires a lot of, uh, uh, TLC. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, and, and so when we, <laughs> when the magic, but I mean, I, I, I'll be honest with you. I wasn't intending on opening, opening up a barbecue joint, but when the, when the magic bus presented itself, I was like, you know, what would be great is if we did barbecue. And uh, so, I mean, no, I mean, we're we're spending, you know, we're we're roasting we're roasting our our brisket and our pork butts, you know, uh, between twenty and twenty four hours at a time, wow. tending those fires and and making sure that it, you know it comes out just right, um, you know, and and it's been it's been quite the it's been quite the adventure, you know, it's a lot of, you know, <laughs> you know, when we were really hot and heavy uh, in the in the fall, you know. You know, late late August through early November, you know, I didn't get a lot of sleep. You know, on the on the cook days, you know, because it required 
you know, I mean, if it's a 24 hour cook, you know, do the math. Yeah. So, you yeah. know, yeah. You know well, getting up at, you know, getting up at one thirty two in the morning to go check on things and, you know, wrap things in foil. And Well, and th- then you go through the night. Uh, we come back from a football game on a Friday night at 11 o'clock and you guys are still booming down there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'd see you uh, in church the next morning. You're performing. I don't know how you did it because you would say we just got done wrapping up, you know, cleaning dishes at two in the morning right. or, you know, prepping whatever. And, and like, here you are. Um so it's been a minute, and you, going back to the fall, I mean, you guys were in Grove City. You guys were going everywhere. Yeah. Businesses were hiring you. That's the nice thing about here, right? People are coming from like all over to yeah. visit this place, yes. and it's been amazing. So yeah. they're trying your food, and right. people are talking. Uh, Sarah, w- w- what can people expect to find in the coffee shop? Yes, yeah, so you know, continuing on that homemade, housemade quality food is what we're after at the well. Um, we'll be featuring a few items from the bus through the winter anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, you'll find the mac and cheese, the brisket, and the pork sandwiches. Oh, wow. Um, along with our traditional yeah. fare of homemade soup, soup and sandwiches. Uh, now, the, the coffee. Uh, the coffee. Yeah, talk a little bit about the coffee. Um, so the coffee is from Land of a Thousand Hills. It's a Rwandan-based organization. So when I order the coffee beans... Um, they have been farmed by hand by um, a very specific group of actually women in Rwanda. Um, they come to Atlanta, Georgia, and when I order them, um, Atlanta, Georgia roasts them upon order. So when I order them, they then roast them and send them directly to us. So when I receive them, they're about two to three days um, freshly roasted. Oh, wow. Um, and then the proceeds of that organization go back to serve those Rwanda women. Very nice. So it's very meaningful and um, kind of a passion of mine to make sure the coffee is high quality and ethical. If, if I ask you any trade secrets, you could say, I can't answer that. You know, <laughs> it's, <okay. laughs> uh, you're watching the morning drill on stream television and on Armstrong's neighborhood channel and listening to it on the Allegheny news talk sports network. So let's go back. Uh, we've got Brendan, Sarah and Joe with us. Uh, let's go back. You are opening at the mill when? Monday. Monday. Monday, January 17th. Okay. 7 a.m. <laughs> what, what, what do you guys have to do to, to get that ready? Was there a lot of work or was it pretty easy going to get things set up there? It's some work. Oh, some work. Yeah. Some work. Some work. Yeah. I mean, the space, the space yeah. has always been nice. You know, it's, it's always been an attraction for people. Um, but uh, to, give it, to give it Sarah's, you know, the touch of the coffee shop, you know, a little bit of, little bit of love in there. So. Yeah. What can uh, folks uh, find at uh, Hilltop Discount Grocery right now? Well, a lot of sass. A lot of sass. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. Right now, right now we're sometimes uh, there's a little song in there too, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> sea shanties by Joe Thompson. Yeah, that's this month. Next month will be a different thing, <laughs> yeah, right? That's right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, right now we're gonna we're we're really pushing the home heat products. Uh, we have a lot of wood pellets uh, available. Um, that we're currently selling for two forty. To eat or to heat? To heat. heat. Okay, heat. Yes. <laughs> heat pellets. Heat. Heat pellets. Heating okay. pellets. Yeah. Yeah. Home heat pellets. Yeah. Um, yeah two forty a ton. Two hundred forty dollars a ton. Yeah, two forty a ton. Very high quality. Quality. Dry. Dry Creek uh, pellets. Uh, they're yes. out of what? Ulysses, PA. Ulysses, PA. Yeah. yeah. I would say product. this week uh, probably a good reminder to make sure you're stocked up and ready. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yep. Uh, so um, you know. Uh, People talk Halloween time, Joe. You've been on uh, where you've had you know the, the whole candy aisle, mm-hmm. um, but people can go up and find all sorts of great things up there. Kind of run through a list of the things that folks can find up at the grocery store. Uh, well, we we uh, we serve uh, Marburger dairy products. We sell Marburger dairy products, so local local dairy farmers, uh, and so that's that's really important to us that yes. uh, we support the the local farmers, uh, and it's a wonderful product. Uh, so you know they're. Their milk, chocolate milk, eggs, and cheese products. Um, Miller's Meats out of Butler. You know they all sorts of uh, you know sausages and uh, you know deli deli sausages and uh, and you know uh, Italian sausage. The uh, bacon. The bacon's the bacon. really oh, good. Really? Yep. Yeah. Uh, and they've got smoked cheeses. Uh, and then we have a full, you know, a full freezer section of, uh, you know, vegetables and uh, pizzas and ice cream, you know, those mm-hmm. those kinds of fresh products. In addition to the, the, you know, the banana box discount food that we, we get in, um, you know. And so, yeah, we've we've got a we've uh, made a, a run at, uh, you know, we've got a full uh, new section of uh, uh, like uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, home home. 
were trash bags and <laughs> paper plates. I didn't know what we were doing. Paper products. Uh, paper products, paper you products. know, paper towels and, you know, with stuff, you know, cleaning stuff, supplies. Cleaning supplies, you know. <laughs> In addition the to The sign can- for that aisle is really yes, big. Exactly. Yes, it's yes. like, what, um, and, you know, in addition to, you know, our canned goods and, and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, and, and again, uh, Joe, people are going up there and grabbing all sorts of stuff and saving a whole lot of money. Yeah. Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. What's that been like uh, for the Pleasantville community to have that there? I mean, that's been fantastic because you're not driving, you know, 10 miles out of your way. It's right there. Right. And you've got people coming to you from outside of there. That's too. what's it's... remarkable. You know, we have people who are coming from Spartansburg from, you know, you know, down around, you know, Tynesta, Ferdigs, right? Titty? you know, Venus. Yep. Yep. That's awesome. As a Pleasant Villian, um, you know, I've been there all my life and raising kids and having to go other places for groceries. So for me, especially with seven kids in the house, um, to be able to grab dollar boxes of cereal. Perfect. Bring it. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, Brendan, for you, uh, what's uh, what are you looking forward to in the new year? Well, we're uh, we're looking to expand some stuff up in Pleasantville um, with in regard to the grocery store and a few other things. Um, the uh, so still no sleep for you this this yeah, year. Yeah, okay, yeah that's, right. That's good. <laughs> yeah, um, and then uh, really we're uh, really pushing uh, some stuff in town here as well. Uh, you know, it's going to be both. Going to be bring some stuff to Pleasantville and really expand on stuff down here. Okay. Sarah, how about you? What uh, with with this venue? What do you hope to do? I'm just really excited to be back in Titusville. I mean, our time in Pleasantville was lovely, um, but I'm really excited about the space and the opportunities it brings. Um, the space lends itself to meetings and gatherings and, um, you know, back hosting luncheons events, yeah. and events and all the things that kind of were my original vision for the coffee house of bringing people together and having a place where um, you just have a lovely atmosphere and good food and quality coffee. Not to give you an answer, Joe, but that's kind of what you guys have designed up there. This very warm, friendly family yeah. business. Absolutely, absolutely, and uh, and we're and we're looking to grow into. Uh, you know, we've we've done a lot of catering over the last year. Yeah, um, and we're looking to grow that business as well. Uh, you know, either you know, you know, basically with working working out of the mill. Uh, you know that that enables us to to help cater any of the uh any of the titusville mill venue events that uh, betty reynolds does um uh, uh but also uh you know the magic bus has been you know we've done a lot of catering off of that as well and uh, we're already booking uh for for the summer we have a couple three weddings already on the books i was just going to ask you about weddings how cool would it be to see the magic bus at a wedding mm-hmm. no, seriously no, that would yeah, be absolutely so you already have a bunch scheduled. yeah we already have i believe we have three scheduled uh wow. and uh, so we're hoping that you know we're hoping that that picks up you know we're we're looking to you know we're looking to the magic bus is is going to to do a little more traveling this summer than it did last summer cuz i mean last summer like i've i've said uh, on this program before is we laid eyes on the bus on june 2nd by july 17th we were at the ironworks serving food that's crazy so you know it didn't really make for a lot of time so right now we're we're looking to get ourselves situated to be at some of the, some of the local music festivals around uh, hopefully, uh, Autumn Leaf Festival and, and Apple Fest, um, and then you know we're looking at you know being involved at some of the uh, county fairs. You might have to have like a fleet of magic buses. <laughs> yes. Stay tuned. <laughs> That's yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I don't want to get too far ahead here. You can come back later and, and share with us uh, that great information. All right. So a lot going on. Uh, let's kind of recap real quick. Where can folks find the store? Where can they get their coffee? Tell us everything. Well, in two minutes, store, no, minute and a half. Uh, <laughs> store uh, 128 South Main Street in Pleasantville, um, right in behind uh, Coil Johnny's okay. restaurant, across the street from the post office. The mill is at 221 South Monroe Street, um, right between the New Express Care location and Oil Valley Medicine. You can find us there starting Monday from 7 to 2. Awesome. Joe, uh, again, congrats with everything. You know what I, I love? too is uh that you reach out to local people either businesses or individuals 
uh, and say, okay, I think we can incorporate this into what we're doing, and you make them a part of it. Yes, absolutely. And you get that feeling too, especially like when you're at the Magic Bus. Everybody's like happy. Nobody's like yelling at each other. <laughs> it's, it's like you guys are having a good time, even when it's summer and you know 110 degrees in the bus. Well, we have a no troll sign, so it's like no Perfect. trolling. Perfect. You allowed. need that these yes, days. Yes, absolutely. we do. Guys, thank you. Come back thank again. You. Thanks, Luke. Right, take care. <laughs>